What's going on, people? Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Where we at? Happy Saturday, people. Uh, let's see, let's see who we got up in here. Uh, we got uh mad hat up in here we got a unique boutique what's going on with you thank you so much for coming to the live all right let's get this thing started let me get up my so i can see y'all in the chat here let's go let's go uh where we at all right so we got that um let me see who we got up in here um let me see who that who that uh miss don official mrs don official thank you so much for the follow i appreciate you guys all right so if you guys don't know who i am my name is mr socks i'm going to teach you guys how to print custom sublimation socks so let's get into it all right so uh first off i'm going to show you guys a little bit about what i use as far as materials um, if you have questions about uh, my method, what I'm doing, it's not like the, the normal method uh, where you have to roll the edges. So again, if you have questions about my method, everything that I use, feel free to put it in the chat. All right. We got Sue in the building from the UK. What's going on with you, Sue? Sue on time today. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We got Tiff in the building. What's going on, Tiff? All right. So we're going to get started with this uh, with this tutorial. Keep in mind that this is like a demo, like a HSN QVC type of demo. Um, so if you want to learn how to make uh, sublimation socks, the full process, make sure you go to the link in the bio and get the sublimation course. We got the half uh, sock, which is where you would print uh, half the sock here. And then we have the full length sock uh, available uh, as well. All right. So let's see. We got uh, Kiss Food Science Wellness. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, we got Gal in the building. What's going on with you, Gal? Uh, let me see. We got uh, Sue said. I feel like I'm winning <laughs> at life when I turn on <laughs> when I turn up on time. Let's go, Sue. <laughs> let's go. All right. So I'm going to teach you guys um, a little. I'm going to show you guys a little bit about what I use as far as materials. Uh, so first off. Uh, we use uh, polyester socks. All right, so this is 96% uh, per, uh, polyester and 4% spandex. Uh, this brand is actually Gildan, so I get this from uh, Amazon. I have a link in the bio for this, um, and you get like 12 pairs for about 12 or 17.99. All right, so this is a really good deal. All right, then we uh, also have the sock jig. The sock jig is used as a stabilizer um, as well as a uh, it stretches the sock out so that we can get uh, the ink to to kind of get in between those uh, those fibers and those ribs. All right. Uh, this is also uh, a link in my bio. So feel free uh, to to click on that so that you can get uh, the sock jig if you're interested. All right. The next thing we have is our uh, design here. All right. So we have Care Bears. I'm going to uh, mirror this this uh, real quick. Uh, but we have the Care Bears here. I did this all in Procreate. So if you're familiar with Procreate, um, you know, we do, uh, we're starting to do uh, seamless patterns in Pro Procreate. All right. So if you want to learn that, feel free. Click the link in the bio. We have a class starting on uh, August 9th. So if you're interested in learning how to make uh, seamless patterns like this and so much more uh, that has to do with sublimation and crafting, feel free to get into that, uh, that class on um, August 9th. All right, so let me mirror this um, so we can get into it. All right, so next thing I use is alcohol. Um, it could be any kind of alcohol. Uh, it could be 91%, 70%, whatever you have. Um, you should be able to use that uh, to clean your sock jig. All right, next thing we have is, all right, thank you so much, uh, Sue, for the for the hearts. Um, the next thing we have is our, um, our heat tape here. All right, so we got to use that heat tape for this method. Uh, like other methods, you probably won't have to use heat tape. You can just kind of place the, the paper on top of the sock and still get good results. Uh, but with this method, we have to wrap our sock. Um, so we need the heat tape. All right. Next thing is our aluminum foil. I know y'all like what we doing with aluminum foil and socks, but we're going to get right into that. Uh, so stay tuned. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me see. 
we got Adele in the building. Adele said, hello, Mr. Sox. I want to join that class. So make sure, Adele, you go to the link in the bio um, and put in your email address. Make sure that it's the correct email address. If you don't receive a, 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 um, a email from you uh, from me within 24 hours, then you know you probably have to go and sign up again um, because um, it, maybe it wasn't the right email address. All right? Um, but I look forward to, to having you in the class. Uh, Matt Hedda said, care, bear, stare. We care. Let's go. Uh, Brianna Bear, uh, what is that? Uh, Bartlett said hello. Um, Sierra said hello. Thank you so much for coming to the live, guys. I appreciate you. Happy Saturday. We're going to get into this real quick. Uh, J477, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. All right. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to start off by cleaning our sock jig. All right. So let's do that now. So we have our alcohol here. We're going to spray our microfiber cloth. Um, so we need to uh, clean our sock jig every single time. All right. And that's only because when we print, we, we may have like some residue up top and I'll show you what that looks like. All right. So if you can see this up top here, it's a little bit of residue and we need to clean that off so that we don't uh, print that on the next sock. All right. So we're just going to clean that off here on both sides and then we'll do the other one. Uh, let me see. We got Creators Trap House up in here. What's going on with you? Thank you so much for coming to the live. All right. So we got that taken care of. Now what we can do is we can uh, start to load our sock onto the sock jig. All right. So let's do that here. All right. So we have our sock here. What we're going to do is just place the sock jig underneath uh, our neck here. And then just stretch out the sock and slide it onto the sock jig. All right. So we're just going to pull it on here. And then what we're going to do is, if you can see this, I know it's a little bright here, but uh, it's like kind of wonky. The, the lines look like it's going zigzag and all every which way. So what we want is we want the lines to go from top to bottom, not like, you know, zigzag or like that. You know, because when you print uh, your, your um, design on your sock, you want to make sure that it's straight. Because however it prints on your sock jig is how it will look on your leg. All right. So we're just going to. Uh, roll maneuver our edges here just to make sure that our lines is straight All right, so we're just gonna roll our edges. This is the roll only rolling of the edges. We're gonna do with this method All right, um, and again, this is just to make sure that our lines are straight All right, so we're gonna do that here And then so this looks good it doesn't have to be perfect uh, but it has to be uh, somewhat, um, you know, the, the lines going from top to bottom. We don't want any like zigzags or anything going on. All right, so we got that one. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to stretch out this one as well. Stretch it out, slide it onto the sock jig. All right, make sure that it's straight. And now we can roll our edges here to get our lines uh, from top to bottom. All right, so we got that. All right, so that looks good. All right, so we got that. Uh, let me see if I can get it in the frame here. All right, so this is how it should look, front and back. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lint roll our sock, right? Because we, when when it comes out of the manufacturer um, and the and the and the warehouses, it still has like those like small fibers that you may not be able to see with the naked eye. So th the best way to to get that and make sure that you don't print uh, those fibers into your sock is to lint roll it, right? So we're just gonna lint roll it here. Something super simple, super easy. All right, we're gonna lint roll both on both sides. Uh, let me see who we got in here. We got uh, one unique Gemini. What's going on with you? Who else we got? Blessed. Uh, what is that? Uh, Blessed Boo Diva. Thank you so much for coming to the live. We got Jess in the building. What's going on, Prima? Let me see who else we got. Uh, we got Happy Mets uh, from from Austin, Texas. What's going on with you? Uh, what uh, they said? Uh, scratching with uh, a disposable razor uh, works better. That's a that's a, actually a good idea. Um, so one, if you do that, feel free to like take your time with that because you know it may tear up your sock. But just, I, I absolutely uh, think that that will work as well. 
All right. Uh, Pi, uh, what is that? Pie Lady 82 said, hey, hey, what's going on with you? Thank you so much for coming to the live. We got Jay Marie in here. What's going on, Prima? So this is actually Jay Marie's uh, design. Um, this is something that she wanted. She wanted Care Bears. Uh, so I wanted to make this for her because she wanted it in, uh, in a, a seamless pattern type of look. Uh, so these are Jay Marie's socks. Um, so everybody say hello to Jay Marie. Uh, uh, what? Look. What, let me see. Where Jess at? Jess at, yeah, Nelson family. Uh, cousin check in. What's going on with you, Jess? I've been missing. I'm sorry. Hey, everyone. What's going on with you, Jess? We did. We missed you. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me. Uh, J477 from Illinois. Thank you so much for coming to the live. Uh, let me see. Who else we got? Let me see. Let me see. Uh, everybody saying hey to Jamie Marie. Uh, we got Kick Up Flicks up in here. What's going on with you, bruh? Thank you so much for coming back to the live. I appreciate you. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, we have our uh, socks lint roll. Now we're going to um, um, cut up our, our artwork. All right, so I'm going to place you guys down at this, uh, the table here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so we when we do our design, we actually have, uh, we don't use the whole uh, paper, right? So we just uh, leave whatever we're not using, we leave it as white space. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off this white space so that we can uh, begin to wrap our sock. All right, so let's do that here. So we're just going to place it down on our paper cutter. All right, make sure that uh, it's pretty much centered uh, where that, that cut line is uh, because we want to cut into the design a little bit, but not too much. All right, so let's do that here. Make sure that where where we're supposed to be we're going to move that over a little bit more and cut that and as you can see there's a little like um uh, a bit of the design here that's fine uh we just want to make sure that we have all of that white space off all right so we have that now what we're going to do is we're going to begin to wrap our sock all right uh so let's do that here so we're going to take one of these and then we're going to lay our artwork down and then our sock over top of it. All right. So we're just going to place it in the middle here. Let me just move this over. Thank you so much for the share. Um, user 35887. Thank you so much for that. Uh, J477 said, love Care Bears. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're going to love this one. Uh, let me see. One Unique said, cute Care Bears. <laughs> What's going on, uh, One Unique? Let me see. Jay Marie said, um, y'all in for a treat because I already know Mr. Sock going to slay. Let's go. Let's go, Prima. You know how we do. Uh, Linda said, uh, or Linda, follow me. Thank you so much for the follow, Linda. I appreciate you. Uh, Choo Choo 22, uh, 22222 <laughs> uh, said, yo, what's going on with you? Thank you guys for coming to the live. I appreciate y'all. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to place our, our sock down face down. And then we're just going to fold it here, right? So we fold it in half. And then we overlap the other side, making sure that this, uh, these um, papers, when we fold it, that it meets up evenly. All right, so let's do that here. So we're just going to fold it. It'll overlap a bit, which is fine. Um, if you cut your design the right way, it will overlap. But that's really what we want. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, line it up here. Then we'll use our heat tape to secure it all right so we're gonna do it in the middle here and then line it up down the bottom and tape it here as well then what we're gonna do is uh, do our fillers so we're just gonna place tape where we don't have the tape and then next thing we'll do is we'll tape up our seams here all right so we'll take this up now the reason for all of the tape is just to make sure that we don't have any ghosts in uh, we don't we don't want ghosting with our socks because it kind of throws off um, our print. Um, it doesn't make our design look crisp at all. Uh, so just make sure you do your best to uh, make sure that it's uh, tight and secure so that you can get the best print. All right, so we have that done. We have it taped to the sock jig on this side. Now we're going to tape it on this side as well. All right, so we have that. This is how it should look. All right, and before we wrap the, the next one, we'll see uh, what questions you guys have. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, we got li uh, little Lizzie up in here. Said, hola, hola, hola. 
what's going on what you thank you so much for coming to the live uh what is that serendipity apparel said hello what's going on with your happy saturday guys uh what is that uh coco shell said hi uh what is that um miss erica said hello let me see who else we got in here forever come on forever care bear you know uh <laughs> let me see it said uh is it possible to do the whole entire sock yes it is um i teach you guys how to do the whole sock in my uh in my course my sock course so if you're interested in that um it will uh be for sale right now on the website uh let me see if i got my my full length sock here uh let me see let me see all right so this is what the full length sock looks like all right uh so this is a full 360 sock um it's not just printed on the front and the back it's printed all the way around so it's a full length design um, as well as on the toe, there's no white anywhere on the seams. All right, so this is what we're going to be doing just half of this today. All right, so we got that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to wrap up our next one. So, I'm gonna point you guys down at the table again. Um, I can still see y'all questions, so feel free to keep uh throwing them in the chat here. Um, Coco said, Happy Saturday. Uh, Ms. Gell said, uh, didn't, didn't hear where you got the socks from. So I get the socks from Amazon. Um, you can get them for a, tw a 12 pack for, uh, $17.99. All right. I also have that, uh, that link in the bio as well. Uh, let me see who else, who else we got. Uh, J477 said, bright socks. Thank you so much. Um, let me see who else we got. Uh, where I'm at, where I'm at. Uh, Kindred Spirit uh, Design said, hey, hey, first time on your live. Thank you so much for coming to the live. Happy Saturday. You guys are in for a treat today. These are going to be something special. All right. J477 said, uh, Rainbow Bright uh, Socks or Strawberry Shortcake. Um, I, I'm, I might have to go with the Strawberry Shortcake. I might have to do that one, you know, one day. All right. Because I think that would be sick. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold it the same way here. Fold it and then fold it again. All right, let's just move this one over a little bit more. Fold it and then we're going to overlap it here, making sure that the uh, the top is lined up and even. And then we're going to tape it here. All right, tape the middle, then line up the bottom as well and tape the bottom. And then we're going to do our fillers here. All right, and the next thing we'll do is uh, uh, tape up our seam here. Again, we don't we when we print when we press our socks, we press it at high uh, heavy pressure, um, so we don't want any movement. So that's why we tape it so much, uh, just to make sure that it's secure and it stays in place. All right, so we got that. Now we're gonna tape it to the sock jig on both sides. All right, so we got that. This is how it should look. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out our secret weapon, which is aluminum foil. All right, so let's do that. We're going to pull out one and pull out another one. And I know everybody was like, well, Mr. Socks, what are we doing with, with aluminum foil? We're printing socks. We're not baking chicken. We're not doing cornbread. What are we doing with aluminum foil? Now, the aluminum foil is going to do all of the heavy lifting for you, right? So... When you're trying to uh, print socks, if you print this um, as is, right, you print it on the front, then print it on the back, you still will have these white lines going up and down your sock, right? Because you, you don't have any heat going to, to your seams here, which means it can't extract uh, the, the, the color, right, or the ink. With the aluminum foil, the aluminum foil will do all of that for you. So because we're wrapping the aluminum foil like we did with our design here, it's allowing us to uh, you know, be able to extract uh, the ink from our seams as well um, using the aluminum foil, right? And with the heavy pressure, it'll allow the, the heat to kind of circulate throughout the aluminum foil, which will pull the ink from, uh, from the paper, all right? So let's do that here. We're gonna just fold it in half. Let's fold it in half here. And then what we're gonna do, that'll take care of this side of the seam. To take care of this side, we're gonna just cuff it behind. Right, so cuff it behind here. 
And then what we'll do is we need to slightly pull it towards us so that we can tighten the edge, right? We need to tighten the aluminum foil around the sock so that we can get the best and most crisp seams we ever seen in our whole entire life, right? So let's do that. So we're going to slightly pull towards us here to tighten up our aluminum foil around our sock. And we're going to just tape it in place. All right, so we're going to do that all the way down the sock just to make sure that our seams are crispy all the way throughout the sock, all right? So do that here. We're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. Don't go hawk mode on them, or you're gonna tear your aluminum foil, and then you're gonna have to either finesse that thing to get it right where you need it, or you're gonna have to uh, get a new piece of aluminum foil, all right? So don't waste your materials. Just take your time with it, all right? So we have it taped up. We taped it up to the sock jig on both sides here. All right, so this is how it should look. Now we're gonna do our rub test just to make sure that we wrapped it the correct way, all right? So if we don't hear anything that sounds like aluminum foil, we know that we uh, tightly wrapped our aluminum foil around our sock and we're good to go. But if we hear something that sounds like aluminum foil, then we know we gotta go back to the drawing board and wrap that bad boy again, all right? So we're gonna just do our rub test here. We don't hear anything. We know we're good to go. Now we can move on, all right? So let's wrap our next one. While we do that, we're going to turn our uh, our heat press on and let that bad boy heat up. All right. So what we're going to do here is smooth it out again. All right. And then we're going to place our sock face down. Fold it over. Cuff it behind here. All right. And then we're just going to slightly pull towards us to get that tight, snug fit. And then tape it in place. All right, so tape it here, tape it here, and then we'll go to the bottom and we'll finish it off and we'll tape it here. All right, then we'll tape it to the sock jig on both sides. And then we'll do our rub test. We don't hear anything that sounds like aluminum foil. We know we're good to go. Now, now we can press this bad boy up. All right, so let me just uh, see if you guys have questions. Uh, I see Malice up in here. Thank you so much for coming to the live, Malice. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Where we at? Uh, Adam Garcia, thank you so much for the follow. Coco, thank you for sharing the live. I appreciate you. Uh, let me see. Where we at? Where we at? Uh, Reed Monica, thank you so much for, uh, for, for the follow. I appreciate you. Uh, where we at? J477 said, uh, I also thought uh, Cookie Monster. Uh, J Marie actually made some Cookie Monster socks and they were insane. So <laughs> uh, make sure you check out her page. I believe it's on her page right now. Uh, Linda Creations uh, said, do you create the designs? Yes, I do create the designs. I create them in Procreate. Uh, so if you're interested in learning how to incorporate pro Procreate with uh, your crafting, with your sublimation, um, definitely go to the link in the bio so you can get into our next class, which is uh, uh, August 8th or August 9th. I'm sorry. August 9th. All right. So in that class, it's a five week class. We teach you how to uh, make uh, offsets for, for stickers. We teach you how to uh, slice up your all over shirts. We also teach you the, the tools that you need to like um, uh, learn how to do Procreate. So that's really our first week. We, we talk all about tools, um, you know, what, what each tool does, uh, what tool you'll be using the most. So again, if you're interested in that five-week class, go to the link in the bio and sign up. Um, we, uh, it's no, actually, it's no price for, for our class. Uh, it's only donation-based. So we're not trying to break your pockets or anything. We're just trying to teach you how uh, to use these different tools uh, for your business. All right. So if you're interested in that, uh, make sure you go to the link in the bio and sign up for that. All right. So let me see uh, what questions we got up in here. I'm all the way up here. So let me see. Let me see. Uh, Traveling Wifey, thank you so much for the follow. Um, let me see. Uh, what is that? K? K said, uh, dropping uh, gems. Thank you so much for that, uh, K. I appreciate you. Bob MC, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Miles said, baking seams. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Miles. You know? Uh, let me see. Uh, what is that? D Records? I don't, I don't know if I'm butchering that thing. I'm sorry if I am. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. Um, what is that? 20, 20 twin twin? <laughs> 
<laughs> Y'all be having the best names, bro. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, what is that? Uh, MNF. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. What is that? Mish Mishai or Mishi? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. What's going on with you? I see you in there. Uh, uh, CNA, thank you so much uh, for the follow. Candy said, uh, do you do all over socks? Yes, I do. Um, let me pull out the sock again. All right, this is our full length sock, uh, sock that we have. Um, our, our course is actually on, uh, on our website for this. All right, so this is our full length sock. Uh, we don't just do half length. We're doing half length today, uh, but you know we also do full length as well. All right. Um, uh, <laughs> Jay Marie said uh, Tyrone about to do his thing. So if y'all know who Tyrone is, this is Tyrone right here. All right, we had to name our heat press up in here. You yeah, know, Jonathan, thank you so much for the follow. Perez, thank you for the follow. Erica, thank you for the follow. Amber, thank you for the follow. Uh, Mookie baby, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Adele said, Mr. Sock just signed up. Let's go, Adele. I see you. You know, all right. So let's see where we at. We almost there with our with our heat press. Uh, feel free to put your questions in the chat if you have any. Um, let me see where we at. Yolanda Black Queen, thank you so much for the hearts. I appreciate you, my love. Uh, happy Saturday, people. I hope y'all doing y'all thing today. I hope y'all relaxing. You know, I know some people got to work, but. You know, I want y'all to take care of yourself. Do something special. Go eat some ice cream. Get some wine for the ladies. You know, go get some wine. I know y'all like hype about y'all wine. But I ain't going to say nothing because I don't want no trouble. You know, I don't want no trouble. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Where we at? Uh, Kay said, what printer do you recommend for sublimation? So I recommend um, uh, Epson EcoTank, right? So the Epson EcoTank is a lot cheaper uh, than the Seagrass. So I would recommend that. And... Uh, they have so many different models where you can like get it for cheap. Um, you can even get it uh, used if you get it from the right uh, right person or right place. Uh, so I would recommend you know doing the the eco tank um, just because, like I said, everybody pretty much in the sublimation community uses it. You know, uses some type of series uh, within that uh, that that brand. All right. Um, let me see where we at. Uh, Cassandra said I use uh, Epson Eco Tank. Uh, for my sublimation exactly uh, let me see sin said uh, what are your settings for print uh, colors are great uh, thank you so much um, so, so my settings are um, so I have my settings actually in my course right um, so it's hard to like go over each setting but I will say that um, you want to make sure that your settings um, you're not your your artwork is not spitting out like you would if you were printing like just a regular document right because you want to make sure that um, your your um, your print is kind of coming out um, super slow and inching out, um, so that it's not um, it's laying down as much ink as possible, right? Um, because when it's laying down as much ink as possible, then it's laying down as much ink as possible on your sock or your garment. All right, so um, just make sure that your uh, print takes at least I would say. Uh, between a minute and two minutes to to print out your design if if it does that then you know you're pretty much on the right track um, but again if you want to know uh, the specific uh, settings that I use then you can definitely go and get the uh, the course and I'll you know you'll be able to see it on there as well all right um thank you so much for the question let me see where we at uh where we at where we at where I'm at I don't even see myself you know <laughs> Uh, let me see. Jay Marie said, uh, my heat press, press is named Juanito. <laughs> Juanito. <laughs> Let's go. If y'all don't know, my Spanish name is Juanito. You know, so that is insane. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Jay Marie. That is insane, bro. Uh, <laughs> uh, Miles said, I haven't named mine yet. Come on, Miles. I told y'all y'all got to name y'all heat presses, you know. Um... Let me see. <laughs> that is insane. Uh, Jay Marie said, uh, Prima got you, uh, got a name. Yes, girl. Exactly, right? Oh, man, y'all crazy. Uh, Cassandra says, slow and, uh, and detailed. Exactly. Uh, MF Jelly, thank you so much for the follow. Nessa, thank you for the follow. Uh, Mena, Mena Black, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. All right, so it looks like... Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Tyrone is ready to go. So we're going to get into that thing. All right. Uh, so let me just point you guys 
down here and we're gonna press this bad boy up all right so let's get into that all right so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna place our sock face down right now the way that you're going to get the best color for your socks, the the, your, the best seams that, that, you know, we're all used to, um, the, the results we're used to getting, is you're going to make sure that one, your uh, artwork is, um, is, is wrapped around your sock correctly, right? You want to make sure that it's tight. You want to make sure that it's even so that you can get the best color, right? The second thing is you want to make sure that the aluminum foil is tight, like I just showed you. So if the aluminum foil is not tight or it's sliding up and down your sock, then you know that you got to wrap it a little bit tighter or it's not going to get your seams where you want it to be. All right. Uh, the third thing is to make sure that your temperature is right. So I press my uh, my socks at 400 degrees uh, for 60 seconds. Right. So I press it uh, for 60 seconds. I flip it and then I press it again and then I let it cool. So we're going to do that in a couple minutes. Right. The next thing is you want to make sure that you know your heat pressure. You want to make sure that your uh, your pressure is where it needs to be, right? So I press my socks up at a uh, heavy pressure, and I press it up at heavy pressure because I need that pressure um, so that the heat can circulate through the aluminum foil and get our, our our seams to be so super crispy, right? So that's the four things that you need to do. If you do all of that, then your socks will come out so super crispy every single time, all right? So let's get into our press here. Um, let me see. Let me make sure you guys don't have any questions before I uh, before I move on. Um, let me see. Uh, <laughs> Jay Marie said, "Y'all know she had to get a Spanish name uh, since I'm Latina." Let's go. <laughs> let's go. You know. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Juanito, if, if if you know me, if you know, you know my name Juanito. You know. So if you wanna, uh, you know invite me to the what, what they call it the uh the fiesta i'm here you know my name ain't gonna be mr socks when i get there my name ain't gonna be tamaj when i get there it's gonna be juanito that's all i'm saying uh cassandra said um your socks come out amazing i've never done socks before come on cassandra let's get into it you know i need to see in the next week i need to see some socks from you make sure you tag me you know uh let me see hollis thank you so much for the follow uh, what is that? Marsha, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Um, Mala said, once you start, you can't stop. Let's go. Uh, Cassandra said, I've done cups and shirts. Uh, let me see. What is that? Oh, Creations. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. Um, KLS said, where do you get your supplies? So uh, I get my supplies from different places, right? So my socks, my heat tape, um, my sock jigs I get from Amazon. Um my uh what what else my aluminum foil i get from sam's club you can probably get it from sam's club or costco's walmart um a lot of them have like those uh sheets um so i use the sheets here uh so you can get a lot of that stuff from uh from costco's or you know, the dollar dollar tree any or dollar 25 cent store anything like that you can get it from there but as far as like um the socks the sock jigs um any of my inks or my paper i usually get all that from amazon all right so let's get into it y'all we're gonna press this thing up again we're pressing at 400 degrees for 60 seconds heavy pressure all right so we're gonna place it face down here uh we have our teflon sheet uh let me move this over so y'all can see we have our teflon sheet that's covering it just so that we can have a barrier between the socks and the heat press all right so let's uh press it up here all right, we're gonna press it up again, 400 degrees for 60 seconds, and we're gonna once once we uh that 60 seconds lapse, then we're gonna flip that bad boy and press it again. All right, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, where we at? Where we at? Uh, candy trees, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Um, again, if you guys have questions, feel free to put it in the chat uh, while we're pressing that bad boy up. Um, so that I can answer that for you. Uh, let me see. Jay Marie said, uh, Hey, that's what's, what's up. I do shirts, uh, but haven't done tumblers yet. I don't, I gotta stay away from the tumblers a little bit because I might think I, I might think I'm like a, a tumbler, a printer or whatever. So I got to stay away from that, you know, cause I might get hooked on that bad boy. So I got to stay on my lane. Uh, let me see. Um, what is that? Uh, LVT sisters, Libby. Thank you so much for the follow. Ruby, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Um, 
Let me see. Uh, Drika said, uh, I love doing tumblers. I see it's a lot of tumbler users or printers up in here. Let's go. All right, so next thing we're going to do, we print, press this side. Now we're going to flip that bad boy, smack it up, flip it, rub it down. You know, so flip that. All right, and then we're just going to press it again uh, for another 60 seconds. All right, it's super simple and e super easy. Once you get past the wrapping stage, which it can be a little intimidating at first, but once you do it a couple times, once you come into the live and see me do it, you'll be able to like wrap it like a pro. Um, so you can ask anybody in here uh, that wraps uh, the socks like how, how I wrap them. You know, you you would get super super quick at it, um, and your socks will come out amazing. All right. So let me see. Let me see. Where we at? Um. Let me see. I'm all the way up here. Dang. Um, Rocky, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Nini Love, thank you. Uh, for, excuse me, thank you so much for the follow. Um, uh, Drika says, uh, in oven 355 degrees, uh, for six minutes. Let's go. Um, let me, let me see. Games Creation says, I do anything, uh, I can learn. I'm getting into the sub. Let's go. You know, do you got all your materials? Is you ready to go? That's all I'm saying. All right, so we going we let this thing uh, crisp up on both sides. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let it sit for about two minutes so that we can let it cool down. We're gonna let the the uh, the ink cure on the sock. Uh, you do not want to peel this at uh, at a uh, hot peel. Please do not because the ink will kind of roll off your sock and you don't want that. All right, so just let it cool for about two minutes. Let it come down to room temperature and then. Uh, you can uh, peel it from there. All right. So once this cools down for about two minutes, we're going to get into um, the, the peel and reveal. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, where we at? Uh, where I'm at? Where I'm at? Uh, official Cam. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Um, who else? Uh, CCB. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you so much uh, for coming to the live, guys. Happy Saturday. Uh, Kay said, um, I didn't want to get into sublimation, uh, but you got me wanting to do it. Come on, Kay. <laughs> Come on, Kay. That's what I'm talking about. We're here to inspire so you guys can be like, we, we need top tier. We need top tier printers. That's all I'm saying. You know, uh, Drika said, um, I do epoxy now um uh two two started uh with vinyl then sublimation now epoxy uh is in the mix let's go uh where i'm at where i'm at um gains said uh yes i do just a little nervous let's come on come on gains i'm here for you i'm here for you we we can't sit in our fears in here in 2022 we got to get this thing done that's all i'm saying if you got the equipment, it's no reason why you should be watching me and not printing something. Come on. Take, the, take them printers out the box. Take them heat presses out the box and let's get to it. That's all I'm saying. You know? Uh, Jay Marie said, Oh, we peel and reveal my favorite part. Let's go. Um, these socks going to be amazing. Like the Care Bears, like the, because of the, the colors are so vibrant and so bright, these are, are going to be insane. You know? They're going to be insane. Let me see. Uh, Cassandra, Cassandra, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Uh, where we at? Jay Marie said, I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. <laughs> it's always my primas. It's always my primas, you know? Uh, what is that? Mill Millie said, uh, or Melissa, I'm sorry. Melissa uh, Gaither said, uh, is there another class? So, if you're talking about the Procreate class, the next Procreate class will start on... Uh, august 9th all right so that's next week um so if you want to get into that class it is a donation uh, based class there's no set price or anything it's whatever you can afford for the five weeks is that that's what you'll pay all right so it's a five week class um all you would need is either an iphone or an ipad um procreate and if you want to get a uh, apple pencil or a stylus from amazon you can do that um i would recommend a, a stylus 
a stylus or an apple pencil uh, just because it's a lot easier for you to you know maneuver all right um, so if you want to get into that class make sure you go to the link in the bio and, and sign up I did see a couple people uh, signed up already uh, so feel free to to go to the link in the bio and get that done all right uh, offbeat delights thank you so much for the follow let me see where we at where we at uh k said um i'm definitely joining your class you've been dropping uh so many gems let's go k you know this is what we do this is what we do uh let me see let me see let me see uh again said i'm pressing right now just with vinyl that that's good enough that's good enough as long as you're pressing something but we got to get we got to get you on a sublimation train you know uh kim j said uh what brand of heat press do you have uh so this says a uh, fancier studio. Uh, so my fan bam in here, they got me uh, a new heat press for uh, for Father's Day. Uh, so I appreciate them so so much. But yeah, so they got this from Amazon. Um, let me see. Uh, Jay Marie said yes. That's why I chose uh, those images. Can't wait for uh, for the '90s theme socks. Let's go. And I actually was working on it. I was trying to figure out what uh what um images i wanted to get for that so we we're gonna have something special for that we're gonna get into it uh miss erica said uh i want to do some socks come on miss erica let's get to it you know we got granny in the building what's going on granny granny been mia because she got a new job you know got that new money <laughs> she got that new money but we ain't we ain't gonna we ain't gonna hold her you know we ain't gonna bother her today uh what's that shanny uh i'm the one said can you explain the classes you said procreate um and there is a uh how to print class well uh the procreate class is um just you know teaching you how to use Pro procreate so if you ever wanted to use like uh programs like inkscape photoshop um you know uh uh what is that um what they what do they call it um photo manipulating uh uh software this that's kind of what procreate is right so you can actually use procreate for a lot of things you can use it for uh promo stuff mock-ups you can use it for uh designing tumblers shirts whatever you want to do um you can use it so it's a five-week class um the first week we teach you how to um use your tools and in, in procreate excuse me we, we also give you homework for each each week so that you can kind of practice what we're what we're learning in class um the second week we go into uh learning fonts um gestures things like that the third week we'll teach you how to uh, create offsets uh for stickers if you're into making stickers uh the fourth week we'll get into the patterns which is what uh we just did uh for our socks and i'll show you that um uh, once we peel that thing and then the fifth week we'll go into how to uh slice up your all over shirts uh what your dimensions should look like and all of that and then printing it directly from your ipad or your iphone all right so that's the procreate class um if you're talking about uh making uh socks then the sock class is actually a pre-recorded class um and you can get that from the website all right uh let me see that was a mouthful uh where we at where we at granny said ready to spend it too <laughs> Let's go, Granny. Granny got that new money. She's trying to spend that thing. You know, Cassandra said, uh, Sublimation is amazing compared to vinyl. Uh, you can make um, such an amazing product, anything you can uh, print. Exactly. Exactly. So let's see if we got... All right, we ready to go. We ready to go, y'all. We're going to get back to the questions in a second. All right, but we ready for that pill. Let's get into it. Let me get the drum roll popping off. Can y'all drop them drum rolls? Let me see what we got. Let me see what we got. Oh my God, I'm, I'm excited about these. I'm excited. Let's see, hold on. Let's see. Oh, we got the drum rolls popping up. Let's go. <laughs> Cassandra said, peel it. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so we got the bake through look on both sides, as you can see. When you see the bake through look, you know that thing about to be so crispy. All right, so let's get into this pill. Let's see what we got. Let's get into the pill. Hold on, hold on. Let me move this thing over. Let me see. Oh, oh, Lord. I ain't gonna be able to do it. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me see. 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 Let
Lord. Oh, Lord. Them, oh, them, God, them, them colors are so crispy. Oh, them colors are so crispy. Look at, oh, we got to do a close-up on these things. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. I ain't going to be able to do it. I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. Oh Jesus! Did you see them colors? Oh my God! Oh, they so crispy. Look, check out the sea. Oh my God! I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. Why are them things so crispy though? Oh my God, Jay Marie, I'm still in these bad boys too. <laughs> I'm still in these bad boys too. What is going on here? What in the world? Oh my God! Care Bears on the socks, though. Oh, my God, them things so crispy. Let me see what y'all talk about. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> let me see. Um, let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, Gaines said, uh, how much is the class? Um, and do you need Apple iPad uh, and a pen? Yes. Yeah, so the class is donation-based. Um, and you will need some type of pen or a stylus. Um, so that you can get the best uh, results for um, for your your designs. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me see what we talking about. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> Jay Marie Prima said, uh, "Walk it out. Yeah, walk it out. Let's go." And now Kendra said, um, "That aluminum foil uh, method is very creative. Never saw that before. Thank you so much for that." Uh, Choo Choo said, "Yes, let's go." Uh, Sue said, "Oh my God! Come on, Sue." Come on, Sue. Sue said, oh, my God, bro. <laughs> God, Kendra said, look at those colors. Oh, my God. Can, can y'all look at Oh, my God. That thing is so crispy. I ain't going to be able to do it. I ain't going to be able to do that thing. Oh, my God. What in the world is going on here? Let me take this bad boy off. We got to put it on a tumbler. You know, sometimes we got to put that bad boy on a tumbler. So, let's see. Hold on. Hold on. We about to try that thing. We about to try that thing out. Hold on. Let me see. Let's go. We got the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me see. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Why is it so crispy like that, though? Oh, my God. I ain't gonna be able to do it. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Man. Let's, oh, my God. I don't know, Jay Marie. I don't know, Prima. <laughs> I don't know, Prima. You know? Swiping, no swiping. That's all I'm saying. You know? Uh, let me see. <laughs> let me see. Um, uh, Cassandra said, oh, my God, I loved him. Sue said, so, so crispy. Come on, Sue. Sue said, that, them bad boys is crispy. You know? Jay Marie said, no, you ain't. <laughs> Jay Marie said, no, you ain't. <laughs> Come on, Prima. <laughs> She's like, no, you ain't. We ain't about to do that here. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Kendra said, those is fire. Uh, Choo Choo said, they dope. Thank you so much, guys. Um, Genesis says, make an extra pile for the giveaway pile. Let's go. You know? Uh, Kim J said, got me one to make socks, and I don't even, I don't even have any equipment. <laughs> Come on, Kim. <laughs> Come on, Kim. Let's go. You know, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. We're going to peel that bad boy back one more time. We're going we're gonna, to uh, hit it one time. Hit it one time. Let's go. Oh, my. Oh, Lord. I ain't going to be able to do it. I ain't going to be able to do that thing. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. That thing was so sweet the second time. It was so sweet the second time, though. Oh my God! Look at oh Lord! I don't know, Prima. <laughs> I don't even like Care Bears, but I don't know. These things is crispy, you know. Oh my God! I ain't gonna ever do that thing, you know. Now, let me see. Let me see what we talking about here. <laughs> Y'all like these comments up, bro? Uh, let me see. <laughs> let me see. Uh, Gain said, uh, love it. I'm so, I need to get into all the things. Let's go. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, Granny said, make it, di make it a, a digital file. I can make it, uh, for my tumblers. Come on, Granny. That is an awesome idea. 
That is an awesome idea. Uh, Jay Marie said, uh, you better ship me my socks. <laughs> Jay, Marie said, Jay Marie said, you better ship them bad boys. What you talking about? <laughs> oh, my God. Jay Marie ain't playing with me. She said, you better ship them socks. <laughs> you better ship them socks, boy. What you talking about? Oh, my God. I don't want no problems, Prima. You know, I don't want no problems. What is that, um... Akataki, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Um, Shandy said, uh, those are freaking awesome. Thank you so much, Shandy. Uh, Miss Erica said, love it. Um, <laughs> Y'all play way too much. Uh, let me see. Uh, Kelvin Cards up in here said, those are fire. Thank you so much for that. Granny said, um, I, need, I need Rosa Parks on some socks. Let's go, Granny. Let's go. Yeah, no. Shani said, uh, my G babies are going to, uh, be the hit with the socks. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this. Oh, my God. Let me just. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. We ain't got no seams up in this thing. You yeah, know? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Cassandra said, uh, my daughter came in the show, uh, came in show the socks again. <laughs> uh, let me see. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, my God. Let's go, little one. You know? These are socks. Uh, let me see. Kim J said, uh, when will you have your next class? I'm going on vacation in two weeks, so not home for the four or five weeks. So, with the Procreate class, it's actually uh, live classes as well as uh, we record each class. All right? So, with the Procreate class, you'll be able to, if you can't make the class, then you'll still ha have access to the recording. So again, if you guys are not interested in like kind of coming to the class because maybe you work at that time or whatever, then you still have access to the class um, and you'll be able to learn everything that we learned that day because everything is, is being recorded. All right. So I got to go, guys. I love you so, so much. I appreciate you guys coming to the live and having fun with me. I love your energy. Um, it is absolutely amazing to come in here with you guys every single day, um, except for Sundays. I'll be trying to get in here on Sundays too. But I love y'all so, so much. Again, if y'all want to get into the class, make sure y'all get in. We're taking a little bit more people than 10 people this time. Uh, so if you're trying to get into it, uh, make sure you go to the link in the bio, sign up. Make sure that it's the correct email address because once I get out of here, I will be sending out uh the email so that you guys can um get into the class all right so uh choo choo said thank you for reading the comments i appreciate you choo choo thank you so much for coming to the live uh linda said um got a press uh haven't put it together oh my gosh she hurting my soul right now uh but i'll be putting it together this week socks are us let's go <laughs> let's go so thank you so much i'm looking forward to seeing socks from you linda make sure y'all tag me when y'all make some socks uh, I got to see everything that y'all do. I'm so proud of y'all for just uh, getting like uh, on fire and, and ready to, to print these socks as well as everything else. All right. So I love you guys so, so much. I want y'all to have a great day. Have a great weekend. Do something for yourself. Don't worry about the kids. Go sit in the closet, eat some ice cream, you know, and get that thing popping. You know, Mook said, you are the best. You are the best, my love. Thank you so much for coming to the live. Happy Saturday. Uh, Tiff, I see you. Thank you so much. If you don't, hold on, hold on. What the, oh, Jay Marie said, I was, I was like, what is that? Jay Marie said, join the Facebook group and post, <laughs> post up all y'all work. Let's go. Make sure the Facebook group is actually in the links as well. So get into it. Like I always say, never sit in your fears. Get your mat truck and plow through that thing. I love y'all. Peace.